Good Wednesday morning, Larry Sprinkle, Chris Mulcahy, back again two days in a row. You know what that means? We're talking weather. We are definitely but talking weather. But this time it's kind of after the weather. It's not yeah. as much of a, like yesterday, hey, this is coming now. It's kind of what's going. It's out of here. Out of which, here. Which is really good. Take a look at the, at the severe weather threat. It has really moved way to the east. Wow. We could probably take it even farther than that. And yesterday we talked about the potential for strong storms, and also we talked about the potential for tornadoes. That threat has really moved way nice. towards the areas from Myrtle Beach all the way maybe towards the Outer Banks, and that is good news. And earlier today, we had a tornado watch that included parts of Chester County in our area. And that quickly slipped to the wayside. So what happened was, as that radar was moving in, really all the energy got dragged down towards the south. We ended up seeing light to moderate rain that surged into the Charlotte area. That stabilized everything. So it kind of took away a lot of the fuel. Meanwhile, you've been seeing severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings popping up all over Georgia all morning long. That runs south Georgia. So it's really around Valdosta, Georgia, all the way to the Panhandle of Florida. It's seeing the showers. As we take a look at future cast, everything moving east, a few spotty showers here and there, maybe through midday. That's the extent of it. So we're not talking about any more storms. That storm system tracked east and southeast. The heaviest rain and the stormiest weather right now is moving over in the eastern part of the coastal plain to the eastern part of North Carolina. So now put this, this is one time frame. This takes us to about 1 o'clock. It's still going to be kind of breezy. This has yes. nothing to do with thunderstorms. So if you're putting your trash out like we are, you might be chasing <laughs> some uh, bottles and cans. Yes. Because wind gusts up to 30 to 35. So this is a big, bad cold front. That's the reason why this was such a big, severe weather event across the United States is because we are in the 80s and now we're going to have a day that's going to struggle to get out of the 50s by tomorrow because that wind is going to be changing that's why today you're looking at a big reduction in the temperatures look at yeah, that yesterday was you know almost early summer like it was in the low to mid 80s and yeah chris you're talking about cooler relatively speaking still above average yeah still great don't get us not bad and then overnight tonight with the clear skies it's going to get cold it's going to be in the in the 30s over a lot of the area tomorrow morning. Yeah, either side of 40 degrees, yeah. depending where you are. And then we can get used to the 30s rolling forward, and then things get a lot better after that. You can see the lower 60s on the way up. And I, I really like the beginning of next week. So at yeah. least this is only mm -hmm. a brief cool down before we uh, start to be unseasonably warm once again. Well, let's talk about what happened earlier today. In, in fact, yesterday, today, there, were, there was a lot of violent weather. Yes. States. And uh, we talked about it a few weeks ago during Severe Weather Preparedness Week that it's typically April that is the most active. And here is a loop over the last 24 hours. First off, you're seeing a lot go on in this map. Those icons of the north are representing snow, sleet, heavy rain, and then all of those wind icons to the north. There was a really strong system that ended yesterday morning through West Virginia especially, but then we saw that last hurrah, that system down towards the south that put down several tornado reports in Alabama, that one that was east of Atlanta. Over towards Conyers, George, earlier today, I was actually listening to the radio this morning, listening to a radio station in Atlanta, Georgia, and they were actually talking about that Conyers tornado and not realizing the extent of the damage, you guys said, well, we have some few trees and power lines down there. It was, it was a big storm that came through there. Yeah, there's a little bit more than that. And uh, one more note on the tornadoes. This is our 48-hour snow and rain and wind damage report. You can see how much it's extra the United That's States. That's half the nation right there. That's how big this storm yeah. system was. Wow. Where you had the cold front that brought some of the snow on the backside, but it really covered pretty much at least three quarters of the United yeah. States. But let's talk about exactly what you were mentioning. So this is what happened between really about 11 and midnight mm -hmm. last night. Yep. And it's right along Interstate 20, just south thereof. This is where you're talking, I'm talking about. Notice I'm in a freeze frame. That little notch, we often look at that, look at that mm -hmm. when we're ever looking at severe thunderstorm warnings. That notch can have rotation, and it looks like this one is a pretty significant one. Brad ended up taking this image earlier on. What you're looking at at the bottom there is called CCs. So this is able to pick up on what's called a debris ball. So that tornado that you were listening for just a quote, quote, few trees down yes. actually <laughs> had enough debris that you actually changed the signature of the radar because mm -hmm. it had so much debris damage 
of the things that have picked up within this storm. So uh, National Weather Service is going to be surveying this a little bit later on, but that's definitely the big one in the southeast that uh, was reported in a fairly populated area. Yeah, I mean, and they're lucky that it didn't hit the, me you know, it hit in metro Atlanta, but not downtown or anything like that. So, yeah, we, we've uh, look at uh, we've looked at a minimal amount of damage anywhere close to us. Down around Columbia, they had some storms, mm -hmm. but really most of the severe weather was from Georgia south. And here's an image actually from where we're just looking here, just east of Atlanta. You can see uh, down trees, mm -hmm. but this is just one of many down trees, and you can see that power one lines snap down. there, yeah. snap power lines. Look at the lightning that was off in, in the distance, so multiple power outages as well. Look at that. You can see that was lines down. And then the worst part about a tornado like this is it is blinding because you can't see it. A tornado at night is the most dangerous. And they're rain wrapped in the southeast mm -hmm. like we see here. And yeah. this is a live look what was happening right on Old Covington Road. This is in Rockdale County. So you can see the winds really starting to rock there. We don't actually see a tornado here. But again, the damage is going to be surveyed. But it was tagged as a tornado uh, per the National Weather Service reports. Here's some other images that we received from around the area. So we can actually thank our lucky stars here in the Charlotte area that this did not yes there was strengthen. so much severe weather over you know parts mm -hmm. of Kentucky and Ohio and Indiana and obviously West Virginia this morning over towards Georgia and part of Florida so we've we, we just dodged a huge bullet Thank I goodness. Mean, we could have seen a lot of violent weather here but oh we're, we're just seeing just pretty calm conditions considering the extent of what could have happened earlier today so we Dodge the big bullet. And we <laughs> oftentimes, have, uh, of course, focusing on the Charlotte area, there is a second coming for the eastern Carolinas, as Larry showed. Yeah. So there's still a chance that this system is going to redevelop. But for Charlotte, we can close that severe weather window at least for another week. And, and all the furniture that I battened down, <laughs> they hadn't, didn't even move. So I'll, that's good. You know, there's, there is certainly a positive spin in this. I needed sure. to clean up my yard, too, yeah. and I got it done yesterday. So there if you, you did go. the same, yeah. you're welcome. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, once again, kind of breezy this afternoon, low 70s today. Kind of gray skies right now, but the severe weather threat is way to the east of us. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning, right? Sounds good. 430 right here.